What's up, YouTube? It's me, John Vaughn. And, uh, yes, I do check my messages on YouTube. This is my YouTube channel. Like I said, my name is John Vaughn. I'm a computer engineering major. I like being on YouTube. I'm a very misunderstood personality. And I'm sorry for that. I'm sorry that sometimes you guys don't understand me. Um, you don't know me well enough to understand me. Anyway, I do check my messages that you leave me. Don't think I don't. I do eventually look at all the comments. And I've had a lot, a lot of people ask me to make a video, which I'm going to go ahead and make right now. I know you guys sometimes think that it may be hard. You know, I do a video on how to reset your Android phone, and then I get 170 comments on, well, what if I have this Android? What if I have that Android? Hence, we're going to do this Blitz video here. And in this Blitz video, what we're going to do, I'm going to go ahead and factory reset my Windows phone. And I'm going to take three different Androids, two AT&T Androids and one Verizon Android. So every single one of them is a different model. And we're going to go ahead and factory reset every single one of them. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to get out of the way. I'm going to show you i got all these phones. They're all working. Every one of these phones. This one's a Windows phone right here. This one's the Android right here. Let's make this a little easier to see right here. It's another. This one's another Android. It works. Here's another Android. I don't even know the password to this one. But let's go ahead and power them all off. First thing we need to do for this Blitz video power everything off. Almost every Android phone is going to be the same whenever you want to do the hard reset on it. Whenever you want to take it back to factory settings. Windows phone is, however, just a little bit different. Windows phone might do something you shouldn't actually even do. Pop out the battery. Alright, so Windows phone we're going to do first on the hard reset. For Windows phone, it's pretty easy. Let me fix my camera here and make this easier where... So, for Windows Phone, all we need to do is we need to hold down the volume down key, camera key, here's the camera key, here's the volume down key, we need to hold both of those down, and we need to power on the phone. And as you see, it goes into a mode. Um, all we gotta do is press the Windows key. And that phone's factory reset, so that one was pretty easy. Now we got this other Android here. I'm going to say on this Android, we're probably just going to hold down the volume key, power on the phone. And you can see it's already booting into a different menu. So you can see this one's booting into a menu. I'm going to put this down for a second. I'm going to do this one. I'm going to do this one the same way. I'm going to hold down the volume key over here and I'm going to power on the phone as you can see that one already went into its fast boot menu right there so I've got an option where I can go to factory reset right there and hit the power button and it's going to go through and it's going to factory reset this phone this other one that I just started, it's saying the same thing right here. If I go down, wipe data. See that wipe data factory reset? That's going to do the same thing. I just want to reboot the system now because this isn't even my phone. But there you go, there's that one. And there we go, this, this one right here. Once I went to factory reset, I'm going to go right here, I'm going to go wipe data, factory reset. And that's going to do that. And then this last one is going to be the same way. Notice three different Androids, I'm going to do the exact same thing. Volume down key, power key. Never been in love, it's irrelevant to you. If you're there, pray for me and I'm going to pray for you. 
Notice I'm holding down the volume key the whole time to get into this menu. This one didn't go. So since this one didn't go, this is where I would get a bunch of this is where I get a bunch of comments saying, hey, it didn't work. Oh no, let's just try it again. Let's just try it with both volume keys held down. I'm going to hold down both volume keys. Then I'm going to power on the device when I'm holding down both volume keys. And we're going to see if that will do it on this one. All Androids are different. You just got to keep playing with them. And eventually, you know, the right combination of keys will put you into the right menu. This one still didn't do it, so I'm not understanding what's going on with that. Let's try it again. Let's try the volume down key, holding down the volume down key. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on with this one. I don't know if it's got anything else I need to do to do or not, but hmm. It's the only one that's bugging me right now because it's the only one that hasn't went into its special boot menu. I'm not understanding that. I think it's because I think maybe on this you've got to have an SD card in here. This one has an SD card in here. All right. Hmm. Try one more time, holding down both volume keys and power on. Powering on the phone. Just never let any of them go. If that doesn't work, I guess we'll just try the up volume key by itself. Yeah, that definitely ain't working. Shouldn't never go into that splash screen. Let's try the up volume key. If we can do the up volume key. And the power key. Nope, that one's not working. Let's look at our other phones. This one's done. This one, all I gotta do is go down. Go down to delete all user data. That one's gonna be factory resetted. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And it is factory reset and everything. Only one we had problems with is this AT&T phone right here. And, uh... <coughs> I'm going to pull out the SD card, first thing that I'm going to do, pull out the SD card, put the battery back in real quick, now I'm going to try both power, both volume keys and powering on the device. See if that did anything for me. Doesn't look like it did anything because it should have already should have already went into that mode. I'm really not understanding this phone right here. Why it's not doing a factory reset. I'm gonna do just the power down key or just the volume down key. Seeing it's still doing it, I don't get this right here. I can see why I would get a lot of a lot of videos and a lot of comments asking me how to do some of because some of them are just awesome. Some of them just won't work with you at all, and this seems to be one of them. This one just won't factory reset itself. Oh, there we go. Just have to be tricky with it. Take out the SD card. Take out the SD card on this. And make sure you have both volume keys. And then you're just gonna delete all user data there. And that's it. You do all that. And as you can see, in the course of this video, we'll really know how long this video took. Oh, 10 minutes, we factory reset all four phones, so thanks for watching YouTube, thanks for being a bunch of good subscribers. If you have any more questions, just 
just let me know, yes, I did pay attention, I will do your factory reset on your iPhone. The only thing before you can factory reset an iPhone, you have to have a USB connector and you have to have iTunes on your computer. You can't do it without a computer. Stay easy, YouTube. If you have any questions, just let me know what's up and I'll be happy to help. John Vaughn, subscribe to my channel. Don't leave no negative comments or I'll find you and kill you.